Hi everyone this is Dr Pasnodi Suman consultant pediatrician in this video i will be discussing about the basic information regarding the rotavirus vaccine and also the types of vaccines available and its disease symptoms rotavirus is the common cause of severe water diarrhea in babies and also responsible for the more severe forms of diarrhea especially in infants and very young children Almost one third to half of all the diarrhea hospitalization in India is caused by this rotavirus. Along with diarrhea, this virus can cause vomiting and fever, which ultimately leads to the loss of body fluids, resulting in dehydration, which can be very dangerous, especially for small babies and young children. The common signs of dehydration are dry mouth, decreased urination, crying without tears, and unusual sleepiness. If your child has any of these symptoms please take the child immediately to the pediatrician This rotavirus disease spreads by the fecal oral route nothing but putting contaminated fingers in mouth by touching contaminated surfaces Good hygiene like hand washing and cleanliness are important but may not control the spread of the disease and vaccination is the best tool for its prevention Now we'll see the types of rotavirus vaccines available in India and the schedules of it. Presently, four brands of rotavirus vaccines are available in India and all the brands are administered in a three dose schedule at 6 weeks, 10 weeks and 14 weeks except one brand which is administered in two doses at 6 weeks and 10 weeks. Remember, the first dose must be given before 15 weeks of age and the last dose must be administered by 8 months of age. Remember you can breastfeed your child immediately after feeding or even before the vaccination there is no such thing to stop breastfeeding because of this vaccination coming to the safety of this vaccine these are very safe vaccines and mild short lasting diarrhea or vomiting can happen after this vaccination and very very rarely this vaccine may cause a type of bowel blockage known as interception This may present as excessive uncontrollable crying and blood in stools. Parents should bring the child to the pediatrician if the child develops any of these signs any time after vaccination especially within first days after the first dose was given. Now we will see who should not receive this rotavirus vaccine. Any infant who has had an allergic reaction after a previous dose of rotavirus vaccine or has any severe life threatening allergies to any vaccine component and also a children with weakened immune system including a condition known as severe combined immunodeficiency should also not receive this vaccine and also any infant with a previous episode of this interception condition should also not receive this vaccine This is all about the rotavirus vaccine and thanks for watching if you have any further queries please do ask us in the comment section